I am going to be doing a closet declutter and also I'm trying on, you know, my jeans and shorts from pre-pregnancy that I've been uh, very much just pushing off because no one wants to do that. So, but we need to try them on because I am really tired of wearing just gym outfits every single day of my life since having Asher, which I'll show you here in a minute. <laughs> so we're gonna see what does and does not fit. I think my, the point in my body that is going to be my, it's my new body, my new post-pregnancy body, so I'm living with it. I'm going to dress for it and not for the pre-body. Do not laugh at mommy. Unless you were saying I look amazing and then thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm at that point where I'm ready to like let go of some things that probably just aren't going to work anymore because your body changes. Your body changes a lot. And yes, I am going to probably tone up more. I just don't see myself getting smaller, if that makes sense. Looking better, yes, but smaller, no. So let's declutter and then try this on. I do have a pile already started of stuff that um, I don't want, so I'm going to start by getting that out of my closet. Here they are. You're going to see me with my uh, wrist brace on and off. I can't try on things easily with it, so I'm going to take it off, but then while I'm decluttering, I'm going to put it back on. So, it will be there. It's, it's fine, it's just sprained. <laughs> just drawstring shorts I don't know if they look good this is the only mirror I have in here and by mirror it's the camera so I don't know does that look okay they feel kind of short I don't I feel like they might be too short now maybe let me oh, I don't know I don't know maybe maybe no Oh gosh, I don't think these are gonna fit. Oh my goodness, no. Oh, I love the length. I forgot how much I love the length of these. Holy Moses, that is so not cute. Wow. <laughs> um, wow. I know. Nope, nope. I wish I had a size up in these. That's what I wish. Whew. Which means the black pair is probably not gonna fit either. <laughs> this is the same pair and I can't even Wow. Well, Zara shorts, I'm definitely not a six in. We're going to go probably more eight, ten with that one. These guys in San Francisco, uh, like in 2018. So, let's see if you can even see them. They're very cute. They're Levi's. I got them from the uh, Levi's store. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're not... We're not a 28 anymore, sadly. I still have my pregnancy line. I heard that sometimes takes a year to go away. These are my $15 Target shorts I got last year that I loved. Okay, well, I mean, I wouldn't wear this with a crop top because they're not, like, they used to be pretty loose and they're not anymore. Um, that obviously would be button. They're so short. Oh my goodness. Why I don't remember them being that short last time I put them on. I think they, like, I think the hem got more frayed and that's why. Wow. Maybe I won't because that's way too short. 
Huh. Okay, well that sucks because I don't have any jean shorts left. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot these. Wow, I used to love these and I am definitely a little too big for them now <laughs> because that's tight, but uh, they, uh, <laughs> they did not used to look like, that is full on my regimes right here. Wow, wow, wow. I got these, <laughs> and, whew, I got these from, I originally bought these from Poshmark, a girl that's like, she does these, so maybe I wonder if I can find her again on Poshmark. If she still does this type of stuff well not I don't want that but like get her to make me a longer bigger pair <laughs> because I really like them well I know these fit because I bought them while I was pregnant so I went up a size specifically and bought them um, stretchy so I think these well these are technically size 6 but they run big otherwise they probably wouldn't fit <laughs> I got these from Hope Avenue and they are so, so stretchy and comfy and I get a lot of compliments on them, so 100% recommend. If you love stretchy, jagging type jeans, these will be your best friend. free people jeans that are a little bit tight. I'm just making a, a little tight pile. The little tight pile I'm going to go ahead and keep just because I am going to be toning up. I mean my stomach still feels like pretty soft so I'm hoping I can tone that some. Um, so yeah I'm going to have a, a pretty tight but um, buttons pile. And that one I'm just gonna probably hold on till till winter and see where I'm at and if by winter I'm not down to fitting comfortably in them then they're adios. So right now I have these in them and I also have a pair of Abercrombie, a pair of Good American, and then um, another pair of Abercrombie Mom Jeans. These all button but they're not comfy we currently only have two that actually um are comfy and fit ladies and gents we have our first no these are actually the same um design as the last pair of free people jeans you saw same size but they don't fit so these ones are gonna go into the poshmark pile Okay, I'm not going to show you guys these, but they're no. Hopefully it's censored right now. <laughs> I'm not as disturbed as I thought I was going to be. <laughs> oh, I need to put my brace back on doing this. Um, oh, the last pair I tried on didn't go up my thighs. So these Abercrombie size 4s are going in the Poshmark pile. I ended up with two pairs of jeans that are comfy, four pairs of jeans that are tight, but I'm holding on to. Um, one, two, four pairs of jeans that just won't go up, that are going away. Um, all my shorts don't really fit, uh, jean shorts wise. I did keep one, the Target ones, just because if I really want to wear jean shorts, I can wear them. They're just not super comfy. Um, I am going to try to get a new pair of those though. Um, but yeah. Now it's time to move on to the closet declutter. I'm not going to try that stuff on because like visually I just know what I don't like anymore. And like tops are going to fit. I didn't, I mean my boobs got a little bigger because I'm breastfeeding this little munchkin but not enough. They all, they all still fit fine. It was the bottoms that weren't like the stomach waist area that changed the most. I'm just a size up. I'm a size 8 now and you know what, that's okay. Maybe even a 10 in some brands, who knows? I think eights will fit fine. So I think I'm gonna go through and just show you a couple of my favorite pieces, um, just to say goodbye to them. <laughs> I'll start with my favorite dress. I saw this at Plato's Closet over a year ago, 
and I bought it thinking that, I didn't even try it on, thinking that it would fit because at that time I was definitely a size 4. I'm definitely not a size 4 anymore, um, but it didn't fit. <laughs> So it just obviously runs small. I would say a 2 would have fit better in this. Or like a smaller size 4. But it's just this beautiful, fully beaded dress. Like a very like 20s Gatsby-ish. It's so pretty and it's so heavy. Like the quality is amazing. And I thought this would be the cutest like party dress, engagement party dress, anything where you need to be fancy. I want it to fit so bad. I might see if they have like this type of dress still on their website because I could see myself wearing this to like engagement photos or something or like rehearsal dinner. I don't know. I do love it though. I think it still has the tags on it too. Yeah, it does. I bought it for $14 from Plato's closet and I want to say it was originally like I think when I looked it up like a hundred ish dollars so good deal I might actually take this one and see if I can um, sell it at clothes mentor I used to be so obsessed with this this is a romper and it is so adorable it is so short though so at this point I'm probably not gonna ever wear it again. I kept saying, I mean, like, oh, it'd be so cute for like a beach vacation. I don't go on vacation. And, anyways, this thing is so hard to pee in that it's just not worth the struggle at this point in my life. I'm okay saying goodbye to it because some little teenage girl is gonna love this. But a mama that's 32 probably doesn't need to love this anymore. Not that I can't wear it if I wanted to. I just am at a point where I'm just thinking more practically and I can't breastfeed in this so even if I went on a beach vacation in the near future that won't work oh this is a dress I bought from forever 21 thinking that I would wear I used to wear dresses all the time I don't wear them anymore uh, but if you remember me from like 2014 2011 12 not 11 I was in on YouTube like 12 to 15 I was wearing dresses every single day I used to work at a bridal shop Hopefully I can own one again someday, which is why I honestly hold on to dresses thinking like I will wear this to work once I have that job. My dream is to own a bridal shop, uh, but this is not a dress I would wear to work, which is why I'm okay giving it up. I bought this at Forever 21 in probably 2017, a long time ago, and it was on clearance. It was originally 34 I think I got it half off, so it's probably like around... What is that, 17 ish dollars? So I'm okay saying bye to it. Someone else will actually love this dress. It is a beautiful dress. It's just a maxi dress. It has an underlining that goes like mid thigh, it has lace on it. And the reason I'm getting rid of it is one, I'm way too pale for this dress. It does not look good on me. And two, I just really don't have anywhere to wear it. And it's kind of see through. And I'm again at the point where I just want to be more practical than keep these in my closet and being like, well, I'd have to wear this, this, and this to make this work. So we're getting rid of this. I love these shorts. I wore them everywhere. I would still wear them, but you know, shorts get to a point where you wash them so many times, they just get too short and tattered. And honestly, they're a little tight on me. So I'd rather, again, be more comfy than anything else. And they're just like, the holes are going way, way too high up the thigh. And it's just, Again, a teenager is gonna love these. They're just from Forever 21 and they're light wash. I don't know, I I need to go, I guess, to Forever 21 and see if I can find another pair that isn't as destroyed because these held up well, but I probably wore them over like 50 times, so goodbye. I think I, they're probably like 20 bucks. Got a lot of wear out of that price. I am getting rid of some stuff that I wore during maternity. Like this isn't actually maternity shirt, but if you guys follow me at all during the very few videos I posted when I was pregnant, I was sick the entire time. Like so sick, throwing up multiple times every day. And really anything that I wore a lot uh, just reminds me of that and I hate it. I love you, baby. But I hated being pregnant. Eh. I mean, there are parts that were 
obviously like him. He was the amazing part out of it. But like this is it looks weird. I mean, now that I'm not pregnant, but just like a poncho sweater. So I'm getting rid of that. Um, again, it was, it was from Shein. It's not their maternity section, but I got it because obviously ponchos you can wear when you're pregnant. I think the last thing I'll show you are just these little tank tops that I wore the heck out of not last summer, the summer before. And they're just from Abercrombie. Maybe it was last summer. No, it was the summer before. Was it? Yes, the summer before. 2020. Um, and I don't know, the more I wash them, the shorter they get. So I think it's material just keeps like crinkling up. It just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't lay right anymore to where it's more of just like a true crop top. Whereas I like things that if it shows a little bit, that's okay, but I don't want it showing much at all. So these I have to say goodbye to. Again, a teen if it's a common theme, like teenagers are gonna like this stuff. I no longer do. Comfort is my new uh, goal. I mean style and comfort, but I'm a stay-at-home mom this year, so you and me, buddy, and we're gonna be comfortable. I'm not gonna be sitting around in tight jeans. Thank you for watching. If you want any of the jeans or shorts that I showed that are on Poshmark, I will link that below. You can check them out. Um, most of the stuff I'm just going to donate though because unless it's like a name brand that people search for a lot on Poshmark, it's not worth me putting on. I'm just donating it. Plus, we love going to the thrift stores here, so it's fun dropping stuff off and then going in and seeing what we find. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If any of you are struggling with your postpartum bodies, you just got to meet yourself where you are, not expect to go back to where you were. You know what I mean? So... Even though, yeah, I'm going up in size, like if I'm comfy and I feel good in it, I think that means more to me than being in something I'm not comfortable and like feeling upset about it, you know? Like I don't wanna keep things where they don't even button at all. That's just gonna make me frustrated and upset with my body. And honestly, like I pushed, or I didn't push, he was cut out of my belly. <laughs> and I deserve a little grace with my, my body will never be the same and I'm okay with it. And I have a big scar from you, so I also have to be okay with that, too. Okay, love you guys, and I'll see you very soon.